I'm Ashley Kyle and this is your Lake TV News Update. A 26-year-old woman was electrocuted Saturday night while swimming near a dock in Dry Beach Cove at the four-mile marker. Jennifer Lankford of Hazelwood, Missouri was declared dead at Lake Regional Hospital. She is the third fatality in less than a week attributed to improper dock wiring. Brother and sister Braden and Alexandra Anderson from Ashland, Missouri died from electrocution on July 4th while swimming near a dock at the six-and-a-half mile marker of the Gravoy Arm. Over the 4th of July holiday, the Water Patrol reported several injuries from boats hitting wakes. The most serious incident sent an Ohio woman by helicopter to Barnes Jewish Hospital in St. Louis. Carrie F. Ackerman of Dayton, Ohio was sitting at the bow of a runabout when it hit a large wake, sending her airborne from the seat. While the Highway Patrol did not comment about her injuries, Ackerman remains in intensive care this week at Barnes. A skiing accident left an Iowa man injured Sunday morning in Anderson Hollow Cove. Benjamin Benz of Benedorf, Iowa was skiing behind a 2013 Nautique at 23 miles per hour when he jumped awake and hit a six-foot metal sign. He was taken to Lake Regional Hospital. The Water Patrol also reported two incidents of personal watercraft riders suffering broken legs from jumping cruiser wakes. One happened Sunday at the mouth of the Big Niangua and the other at the 24-mile marker. A powerful thunderstorm blew through the lake area Saturday afternoon, ripping a roof from a barn and knocking down several trees on Mount View Road near Route A in Richland. Although a witness reported a funnel cloud in the air, no one reported a tornado actually touching down. On the water, high winds snapped morning cables on docks and sent boaters scattering for cover. Firefighters spent last week fighting brush fires, including an unusual episode at Tantara. At the beginning of the resort's fireworks display on the water, a mortar tipped over on the pyrotechnics barge and shot around into the island at the 26-mile marker, starting a fire. It took Osage Beach firefighters two hours to contain the blaze. Local police recovered this GMC Jimmy reported stolen last week on the Lake TV News Update. A local business owner contacted the Camdenton Police Department after noticing the vehicle parked for several days on Sutton Road off Business Route 5. The vehicle was not damaged. It originally went missing from the 100 block of Cedar Green Lane in Camden County. Water customers on Horseshoe Bend are being asked to conserve by the Ozark Shores Water Company in Camdenton County Public Water District No. 4. The water companies are experiencing high demand for water due to the intense heat. They strongly urge customers not to use water for lawns, pools, or car washing to allow the water system to rebuild reserves and maintain adequate water pressure throughout the system. Last week, local dignitaries and business professionals dedicated the Lake of the Ozarks welcome sign now greeting visitors on Highway 54. Joe Rager, representing the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, thanked all the business people that contributed to make the project successful. So far, donors have given $42,000 to get the sign erected. Another eight dollars to $10,000 is still needed to finish LED lighting for viewing the sign at night. A local Boy Scout, Garrett Lynch, has taken on the responsibility for erecting a 40-foot flagpole to accompany the landmark as part of his Eagle Scout project. Contributors to the flagpole will also be allowed to put an item in a tag capsule to be opened in 2081 to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the opening of Bagnell Dam. If you would like to donate, call 573-365-5548. Coming this Friday, visit the Bagnell Dam Strip for the Hot Summer Nights Classic Car Cruise. Enjoy the event from 6 to 11 p.m. as the finest cars, trucks, and motorcycles line the Strip. As always, the Bagnell Dam Strip offers activities for the kids like skee-ball, video games, and ice cream. This Sunday, July 15th, golfers and philanthropists will hit the links for the CADV Golf Tournament to benefit citizens against domestic violence. Lunch begins at 11.30 with a shotgun start at 1 p.m. July 15th at Old Kinderhook Golf Course. $150 per person buys lunch, golf, a cart, and prizes. Citizens Against Domestic Violence provides emergency shelter for women and children who have been victims of domestic violence. The hotline is 188 809 SAFE. 
Now here is a 30 second message from a Lake News sponsor. When we come back, get this weekend's weather, the world's largest pontoon party, live music, and a preview of one of the lake's largest boat parties coming soon. What's the difference between sea -Doo and other watercraft? sea -Doo is the only watercraft with intelligent break and reverse, so it can stop up to 100 feet sooner than other watercraft, which means more control than you've ever had on the water, and effortless maneuvering at the dock. sea -Doo, ultimate control on the water. Captain Ron's are <laughs> At 9 p.m. Saturday night, the Swimsuit USA International Model Search continues at Shady Gators in the Seven Mile Cove with live music by Dr. Chevegas. The winner of the Summer Long Bikini Contest will represent Lake of the Ozarks in the Swimsuit USA International Finals held November 13th through the 18th in Cancun, Mexico. Let's see who's playing the lake live this weekend. <laughs> weekend to Dog Days Bar and Grill is one of the largest boat parties of the year. After the Lake Wide Marina Showcase on Friday, the Aquapalooza party peaks all day Saturday until 5 p.m. with concerts from headliners, the McClymonts from Australia, and ACDC tribute band Hell's Bells. Aquapalooza always grows into one of the largest cruiser flotillas of the year. Cast off for the Grand Glaze Arm? You can't miss it. For breaking news and entertainment, visit lakeexpo.com. I'm Ashley Kyle, and this is your Lake TV News Update.